So when you're doing body work, right, you use your hands a lot for feeling. So when your hands start getting dusty when you're doing the body work, it's good to have the dust on your hands okay. because you can actually feel the dents. And you, when you're doing body work, you can actually feel dents that you can't see. So the hands are stronger than the eyes. Like if you close your eyes, you can feel the dent. If you go up and down like this, plus you can see the high spots. You see, I was standing straight, right? right? I was standing straight, and you can see that high spot because it's hitting, and this in here is a low spot. You can see all the low area, right? So that's where it got pushed in from the dent. I don't know, it looks like maybe it hit a, a branch in the woods or something and it just creased it all the way down. You see it? Yeah. It was, it was all in here. So it hit here, and then it just went all the way down, and there's a little dent here. So. What we could do is go from the back and tap it with a hammer a little and get it out. But it's such a shallow dent that it doesn't even make sense. So basically, we're just going to sand it and we're going to put some filler right over it. Flat. We're just going to lay it out flat. It's going to fill this and we're just going to block it out and there'll be no more dent when we're done. That's the whole goal of this area right here. So if you want, you can feel it. You can see if you can feel the dent. And it's good to go this way. You know, you can feel like a little dent. Yeah. Once we start sanding, it's going to get dustier, and the more dust you have on your hands, the better. I'm going to get you a mask as well, all right? Okay. Okay, so when you open up the filler, it's always good to give it a quick mix, right? Because if you let it sit too long, Go dry. it separates the hardener, in, not the hardener, but some of the solvents inside start to separate, and you get like a glazed water on the top. So instead of dumping it out, you got to mix it back in. Some people dump it out and that's like the wrong nice. thing to do. You know, like peanut butter. If you yeah. let peanut butter sit for a while, the top gets oily. Yeah. Maya, you're, sit, you're right in the camera. Okay. It's pretty creamy stuff. You know, feel that? You know, it's very creamy, right? It's like peanut butter. <laughs> and peanut butter is hard. Not hard, but hard to mix. Okay, good. of filler, right? Um, you want a piece of cardboard for your knees or are you good? I'll be good. Okay. For every golf ball size of filler, okay, imagine that in a golf ball, okay. the amount. We're gonna put about six to eight drops of hardener, okay? And it's not like a science where you have to have that much in it. If you put more than you're supposed to, it's gonna dry quick and you have less time working on the car. If you put less than you're supposed to, it's gonna take longer to set up, which is good because you can play with it a little bit longer and shape it. But if you don't add enough, then you're gonna have a problem because it'll never dry. It'll just be like sticky and tacky and you won't be able to say, you're gonna have to skim it all off again with like a metal putty knife and like take it off and redo it. So you don't ever wanna have not enough hardener in it. All right, so we're just, we're just gonna put about that much in it, roughly. Okay. And we're going to mix it up. And it's good to push firmly. You don't want air bubbles in it, they call it pinholes. You get pinholes and you're going to have to fill it up with glaze putty and stuff. That's normal. Okay, so this is a good color not too much harder. Plus it's hot today, so it might actually... Dry quick? Yeah. Yay. Okay, so this is pretty much mixed. Okay, 
now we're just going to move this out of the way. And see, this is from. I'll just do this. Okay. Maya, do the camera. Make sure it's focused. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay some filler on it. It's always to, good to put more than not enough. Because you can send it. Is it okay if I zoom? Yeah, if you want to, if, if it comes out. Maybe. Okay, if it's high, it's cool because you can sand it down. But if it's low, you're going to have to add more. Right. And it, it doesn't matter. Take time. Yeah, it doesn't matter because with this, you usually have to go a couple of runs anyway to actually get it all filled up, so. Okay, so let's do here. Maya, follow me. Can you? Okay, yep, totally can. And try to follow the body line if you can. You know, if, if you have a crease, Say you have filler on it. This piece here, you're gonna lay it like this. Don't push too hard because it won't fill. Okay. It'll just it'll just take it right out again. You know what I mean? So make sure you kind of when you when you lay it lay it like this as Don't you go. Over. Yes, very little, not a lot though. Okay, so you kind of fill it. And then here at the top, I would just add some like this, and then just you're gonna have to. Don't try not to push because if you push, you're just gonna dig right into this dent. Okay. You're gonna try to want to follow this line here. So just build it out, like float. Like you're gonna have to act like you're floating on air in this area, so it just fills it. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Here, same thing. You could just go lightly. Um, here, looks like we have some big, a big dent right in here and over here. So just grab it, you follow this line, right? We've got this crease, so you're gonna go two areas. You're gonna go this way, and then you're gonna go this way. So the bottom, just fill it like this, end it right around here. Top, fill it like this, and then end it around here, because we know we have a dent here. And I think, well, there was just a scratch here. I don't really, I don't feel a dent. It looks like it got hit. It looks like a scratch here. It got hit here, that's why we had that that uh, hole in the front. Mm -hmm. This, later, I could just get a hammer and hit it out and throw some undercoating on it. You're not gonna see it. There's no reason to go crazy about it. Mm -hmm. Just get a hammer and just bend this forward, match that. You've seen me mix it twice, so you know how to do it, right? Uh, kind of. Watch you. Okay, I'll just put a little less than normal. That should be good. Try to mix it quick, because once you start getting it in there, it's gonna... Can you do it? Go like this a lot. Yep. And then push it together, push it together. Scoop it around, there you go. Mix it in, mix it in. Make it like a putty. There you go, like that, there you go, that's it. Okay, and then now you wanna scoop it up into, there you go. Kinda. Oh, <laughs> First time doing filler is always tricky. <laughs> I think you mixed it enough. Right. So, yep. There you go.
First time doing filler. Good. Good, that's good. Do the top. That's all you need. A little bit more up and then and then grab this edge, go that way. Right here? Yep. There you go. And then do the bottom again. Yep, like that way, there you go. You might want to grab it like this and maybe you can go this way as well. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't fill, then you got it, there you go, like that, right? And you gotta always leave good enough alone. So I would move on to this next piece. Okay. Hurry up, it's gonna start to dry up. That looks good, do the bottom. I won't even mess with that. Remember to follow those two lines. Yep, you can, yep, there you go. I'm trying to stay between these two lines. Yeah. Sometimes you, you could go the other way from this way out. There you go. The problem is your, your bottom is touching so kind of move up this way, like that. And don't be afraid to push if you have to sometimes. That's pretty much good. And then you just scrape the rest out. Um, what else? Here, let's just, let's just do this. Doesn't really need it, but I'll just cover that. Okay. Um, what else? All right, let me, let me, I think we got this spot here. I don't know what the hell this was, but. Okay, thank you. Keep it flat, you can see the low areas, right? We still have to feather this whole edge. I also have something called a straight sander. It's straight and it's good for doors. I should be using that right now, but I'm just gonna use this for now. Maybe on the next, the next cut. tricky because this is such a flimsy panel to begin with. So you don't want to push too hard or else you're going to be sanding low in some air. You know what I mean? Because it's so flimsy. It's not like an old car where you got a solid panel to right. really go straight on. You could warp it and sand it warped then it's going to be warped. You know what I mean? So that's, it's panels like this are tricky and even roofs of cars. Hard to do body work on, on a big roof where it's soft. So in this spot here where I had the tape, I put that there to avoid getting filler in those grooves. Now, I was thinking of totally filling them and getting rid of them, which you could do if you're doing custom body work. Um, but I figured it would just make the side of the truck look too plain not to have them. So I decided to keep them there um, for, you know, to keep the look. But you know, if it's your project or whatever you're doing, <clears throat> it really doesn't matter. It's, it's all up to you as the artist. We 
and I think I just wanted to point this out to you to show you the high area. So I would just tap that with a hammer quickly and then know that on my second pass I have to fill it. Usually you got to go over it two, three times to fill it. So if we fill here, I'll let you fill this panel in a bit, okay? Okay. Um, you can see it. Some people, they can't really see this or what they like to do is put a guide coat. So they will spray black paint on it and then block it out. Okay, this is a flat block. If you go straight and then you'll see all the shadow areas where it's low. So they know they gotta mix up more putty and go over there and then block it out again. The goal is to get everything flat, you know what I mean? Right. So I don't do that, some people do. I just go with what I see here. So I'll let you feel this. We have to put more filler to create this edge. We have to tap this down. Is that thing still recording? Mm -hmm. It is. So lightly, you don't want to go too much, right? right. And then we'll just coat this again while we're coating this. This looks okay. This has to be filled over here. This. We'll fill that again. That's pretty much it. I put the tape here because I don't want to fill these in. You could, you know, if you want to give it a look, but I figured, they look, well, why not keep it there, you know? Okay. So, and this is all flat down here. There's no body work down here, so basically just gonna keep this line. Get it straight, right? So that's the goal. So you could, you know, put some powder on your hand and you can feel, feel, see if you can feel the low spots, high spots. So the low here and the high here. Yeah, so if you're going, and it's good sometimes you gotta go long, long strokes, you know, you'll feel it quicker. You feel it, right? I do. All in there gotta be refilled with putty, basically. Um, here we have, uh, we have like a little, uh, not there, where was it? Here. If you feel in here, you can feel there's a dent right there, right? Mm -hmm. We're just gonna, when we do the next coat of putty, we'll just coat all that, coat in here, block it out again, and then that's pretty much a flat panel, right? You took the dent out, you saw how messed up it was in here, right? right. We'll recoat this and we'll make sure we get a nice corner when we're done. It takes a little while, you know, sometimes, like I said, two, three passes, on a big piece like that. Little small dents, usually one pass. This one should be one pass. We might have to do a little glazing in some areas, but it pretty much filled up. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it is recording. So, same thing here. All of this looks low, right? And you could feel it, it's low. Um, like I said, it's super tough because it's such a flimsy panel. If you, you know what I mean? Look at it. It's tough to, it's going to be, this is a tough spot to work on, but we'll get it. Um, so one more coat. So I just wanted to take this down. So when we mix up our batch to do that side or whatever, we can go around the whole thing. You know what I mean?